Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and Google just released their Google Camera app to the Play Store, uh, which is available now for anybody running Android 4.4 or higher. So I thought I'd do a first look and sort of just quick, quick hands-on with the new UI and some of the changes that are uh, present in the uh, new Google Camera. So let's go ahead and get started. So opening the Google Camera app, we now can see a new UI, uh, sort of completely redone, although that black bar reminds me of ice cream sandwich just a bit. You've got uh, all of your different uh, options in the camera if you swipe in from the left. You've even got a new lens blur option, which will uh, sort of allow you to take a picture of something and then have the entire background or everything else be out of focus, which looks pretty nice. The settings actually have been reduced just a bit. You no longer have the option to take uh, or option to uh, take a picture at four megapixels or one point two megapixels or whatever you like. They took that out. Uh, focusing and taking a picture actually seems much faster though. This is actually a nice welcome uh, addition. Although that animation that appears on the right hand side is not, uh, I I just don't really care for it. But that might just be me. Jumping into the video mode, we can see again it looks similar to the camera mode, of course. Uh, but they've sort of done away with the option to choose how many, uh, how what the video quality is that you're recording at, whether it be 480, 720, or 1080p. And I wasn't able to figure out how to take a picture while recording. They might have actually done away with that for now. So jumping into the lens blur mode, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, if we tap anywhere on the screen or whatever is in the viewfinder, we can have that object be in focus while everything else is going to be out of focus. So here I just tap the Chromecast box and it'll ask me to slowly raise your device while keeping that area centered so that it can properly blur out everything else and it'll process the image. Now what I liked about the processing image which is a really small tweak but that actually is a white bar whereas I believe it was still blue so anyway uh, we can see that the background and sort of the foreground is blurred everything except for that chrome box hopefully you can see now this isn't the best representation obviously but if you're outside taking pictures of flowers or you're taking a picture of a person it's gonna definitely look a lot nicer uh, so I'm really excited to see this uh, addition to the camera now jumping into the panorama mode everything functions the same uh, in the panorama mode you still have the option to swipe left and right to take a panorama the only thing that's really changed is is how it looks now the quality might also be better but that's gonna take a lot more uh, investigation uh, certainly not gonna be able to do it in a quick hands-on video but I thought uh, I would be nice to uh, show you guys how it actually looks and sort of the differences between uh, how it looks now and maybe you can pull out your camera if you haven't updated it and take a look at it, what it looks now Anyway, we can go ahead and jump into 360 panorama, and again, it functions the same. It just looks a little different. Uh, now, this camera app seems to be more of a visual changes uh, to the camera with hopefully subsequent optimization to the camera. So what I mean by that is hopefully Google is basically pushing this version of the camera out to sort of change the UI, refresh it a little bit, uh, maybe update some things on the back end, get pictures looking better. But ultimately, hopefully it's going to uh, re increase picture quality. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about when you take the lens blur photo is after you've taken the photo, you actually have the option to go to the photo uh, if you swipe to the uh, left from the right and edit how blurry uh, the blurred parts are going to be, which is kind of nice. I, I really like that you can actually adjust the blur uh, exaggeration after the fact. So that was pretty much it. My first look, sort of hands-on, really, really quick overview of the new Google camera, which is available in the Play Store now uh, for any Android device running 4.4 or higher. So if you guys are running that, go ahead and get it. Check it out. See if you like it. Let me know what you think down below with a comment. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down there for more. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.